John Baptista Donatian Devimir Conte de Rochambeau is sometimes just known as Rochambeau. So let's look at his time of life. He was born on July 1st, 1725 in Vadimi, France, and he died March 10th, 1807 in Thor, France. He died because of an illness. No, he was not murdered, but yes, he was almost executed. Let's take a look at his life achievements. In 1742, he joined the French army because his 15-year-old brother died. In 1756, he became the Brigadier General, which is higher than the Colonel, but lower than the Major General. That was the case because he did so good in his military studies and all his military strategies, he just ended up getting promoted. And in 1771, he had a promotion to Minister of War, but he declined it. So then in 1776, he became governor of Villafranche and Roussillon. Then in 1778, he became a leader of an attack in the American Revolution. So then after the American Revolution, he stayed in the U.S. for another year. So then he went back home in 1783, back to France. Then in 1796, he wrote his very last letter to George Washington, which is a big surprise because him and George Washington were pretty good friends. And then in 1801, he met up with Napoleon and they talked about strategies and how good Rochambeau did in the army. Then in 1804 was when Rochambeau resigned from the army and he won the Legion d'Honneur. Now for his failures in life. In 1794, he was arrested and taken to the Concierge of Paris, which is a high lockdown prison in, of course, Paris. And he was arrested because he was accused of treason even though he was very loyal to his country. But then, a day before his execution, a man named Maximilien Robespierre was overthrown and found guilty, so he was executed the day that Rochambeau was supposed to die. So then finally, in 1807, was when Rochambeau was finally released, and in the same year he died, because in prison they didn't give him medical attention. Why is Rochambeau considered such a major hero? Like, why is he so important? Mainly because of the Battle of Yorktown. Because he was such a great strategist and he was smart, he easily fought and won against the British because of his strategies. Now, the flag over here, join or die, was made by Benjamin Franklin to unite the colonies during the French and Indian War. But it was also used during the American Revolution to unite the colonies together to fight the British. How would the war be different without Rochambeau? Well, first of all, he did like help the Patriots win the Battle of Yorktown. So without him, they probably would have lost the Battle of Yorktown. And they probably also would not have a great military strategist. I mean, George Washington was great and all, but he just wasn't as experienced. So finally, an easy way to remember Rochambeau is just like, Rochambeau and the Revolution, because like the R's, Rochambeau, R, Revolution, plus also he was in the Revolution, like it's so relevant. Also, an another easy way to remember is, you can just remember him. I mean like, there are a lot of songs that include Rochambeau and his lifetime, that if you just listen to those, I'm pretty sure they'll be set.